Household Services for Grade 7 and 8, Week 2. Our topic is for form mensuration and calculations. Mensuration. It is defined as the branch of geometry that deals with the measurement of length, area, or volume. It is also the act or process of measuring. Calculation. It is deliberately the process that transforms one or more inputs into one or more results. The term is used in a variety of senses, from the very definite arithmetical calculation using an algorithm to the vague heuristics of calculating a strategy in a competition or calculating the chance of a successful relationship between two people. Conversion of weight, time, temperature, and space measurement. Letter A, conversion of weight. Weight is the measure of the force of gravity on that object. It is the body's relative mass or the quantity of matter contained by it, giving rise to a downward force, the heaviness of a person or a thing. The following are the unit conversions of weight or mass. Metric conversions. 1 gram is equal to 1,000 milligram. 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Metric to standard conversions. 1 gram is equal to 0 0.035274 ounces. 1 kilogram is equal to 2.204 ounces. 62 pounds. 1 kilogram is equal to 35.27396 ounces. Standard conversions. 1 ounce is equal to 16 grams. 1 pound is equal to 16 ounces. Standard to metric conversions. 1 ounce is equal to 28.34952 grams and 1 pound is equal to 453.59237 grams. Here is an example of conversion of weight. Exercise number 1. A group of guests in a hotel has a total luggage that weighs 176 pounds. Convert the weight of the total weight of the luggage into kilograms. Solution A. Multiply 176 by using the given conversion factor. Conversions, 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So here is the solution. 1 kilogram over 2.2 times 176. 176 kilogram over 2.2 is equal to 80 kilogram. Therefore, the group of guest luggage has a total of 82 kilogram. Another example of conversion of weights. Exercise number 2. Zoe is an employee in the linen and laundry department in a prestigious hotel. She then get a 530 grams of detergent powder to be used in washing hotel linens. The measurement used in the procedure in their laundry sheet task is in pounds. Help her convert from grams to pounds. This problem has two ways in getting the measurement needed. First solution multiply 530 grams by using two given conver conversion factors. 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. First conversion, 1 kilogram over 1,000 grams times 530 grams. So we have to cancel the grams. It is equal to 530 kilograms over 1,000. It is equal to 0 0.53 kilograms. Then, you will convert it, the pounds, to kilogram. 2.2 pounds over 1 kilogram times 0 0.53 is equal to 
1.166 pounds over 1 or equals to 1.166 pound. You can also round it off to the nearest hundreds, so it will be 1.17 pounds. The second solution is multiply 530 grams by using shorter given conversion factor. Conversion is 1 pound is equal to 453.59237 grams. Solution 1 pound over 453.59237 grams times 530 grams it is equal to 530 pounds over 59237 it is equal to 1.168 pounds therefore zoe's detergent powder is in pounds is 1.17 you have to Round it off in the rearest hundreds. Letter B, conversion of time measurement. A unit of time or mids unit is any particular time interval used as standard way of measuring or expressing duration. Below are the unit conversions of time measurement. Unit conversions of or time measure. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes, 1 day is equal to 24 hours, 1 week is equal to 7 days, and 1 year is equal to 12 months. Convert the following time. Exercise number 1. Julie works in a hotel for so long. She works in at least 6.5 hours every shift. She wants to know how many minutes she works in every shift. Solution A. Multiply 6.5 hours by using the given conversion factor, which is 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. 60 minutes over 1 hour times 6.5 hours is equal to 390 minutes over 1 or equal to 390 minutes. Exercise number 2. Andre cleans the deluxe rooms for about 3,345 minutes in his entire shift. In how many days does he clean the deluxe room of his entire shift? A. Multiply 3,345 minutes by using two given conversion factors. First conversion, use 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. Computation, 1 hour over 60 minutes times 3,345 minutes and then you have to cancel the minutes. It is equal to 3,345 hours over 60. It is equal to 55.75 hours. Second conversion. After you already got the number of hours, you have to convert it into days. 24 hours is equal to 1 day. 1 day over 24 hours times 55.75 hours equal to 55.75 days over 24 days it is equal to 2.322 days or you can round it off to 2.3 days therefore the entire shift in cleaning the lux room is 2.3 days letter c conversion of temperature degrees fahrenheit which is developed by Daniel Fahrenheit in the early 1700s, are used to record surface temperature measurements by meteorologists in the United States. However, since most of the rest of the world uses degrees. Celsius, which is developed in the 18th century, 
it is important to be able to convert from units of degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. Kelvin is another unit of temperature that is very handy for many scientific calculations since it begins at absolute zero, meaning it has no negative numbers. Note, the word degrees is not used with Kelvin. Below are the unit conversions of temperature. Convert the following. Exercise number one. The room temperature of some family rooms of XYZ Hotel is 12 degrees Celsius. Give the Fahrenheit temperature of these rooms. Solution. Convert Celsius to Fahrenheit by using the formula given. Using the formula, therefore, 53.6 Fahrenheit is the temperature of the family rooms of XYZ Hotel. Exercise number 2. Give the Kelvin of 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Solution A. Convert Fahrenheit to Kelvin by using the formula given. Using the formula, therefore, 300 Kelvin is the answer. Letter D. Conversions of Space Measurements In astronomy, the most commonly used measures of distance are the light year, parsec, and astronomical unit. Astronomical unit or AU Astronomical unit or AU is the average distance between the Earth and the Sun, which is about 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers. Astronomical units are usually used to measure distances within our solar system. For example, the planet Mercury is about one-third of an AU from the Sun, while the farthest planet, Pluto, is about 40 AU from the Sun. That's 40 times as far away from the Sun as the Earth is. Time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.